If you have one bad moment, that next moment can be your best moment yet. CEOs, this up at your voice, CEO option. I'm back with another video and uh, do not fall victim to those thoughts. Refrain from allowing the emotions that you may feel in that moment to then overrule your entire being. And it's crazy how a thought can make you feel though, especially during the initial moments of having that thought. It can make you feel like you are worthless. For instance, if you made a mistake right there and then, it can feel like you are officially a failure, like you deserve to feel those emotions in its entirety. You can refrain from allowing a moment of weakness, a moment where you made a mistake, be the reason why you do not continue on with being you. And I mean all of you. I don't know about you, and whenever I make a mistake at times, it feels like right there and then I can't continue being me. Like I'm not me no more. Yet that's so unofficial. That's so artificial. That's not even natural. So understand me when I say this. Your thoughts can be deceiving. Regardless of how they make you feel, take a deep breath. Matter of fact, take a deep breath with me right now. Inhale. And exhale. Now continue being you, the best you that you can be, if that. They do not want you to do that, though. They want you to feel like what you feel initially is the final result, the final say. And as I've told you, yeah, you time after time, reality is what you do next. With that being said, I have these two screenshots that I feel like go best what I had to share with you, yeah, you. The first one's actually a quote, all right. This is what it says. The mind is its own place and in itself can make a heaven of hell, a hell of heaven. I'm going to say that one more time. The mind is its own place and in itself can make a heaven of hell, a hell of heaven. And that's by John Milton. So shout out to you, John. With that being said, the second one, the screenshot, last but not least, says this. I have so many parts of me to meet still. I'm going to say that one more time. I have so many parts of me to meet still. That being said, that's facts. There's there's still a version of you that's way better than your current version that you still haven't met. So choose to push forward, propel forward. Even though in that moment, whatever that thought is, if you made a mistake, don't let that mistake become more than just a mistake. Don't let that moment of weakness be longer than just a moment. Push forward. See, like what I've said before is where your attention goes is what grows, right? So if something negative happens or if you have a negative thought, the more attention you give it, it's like the more fuel you're giving towards the fire. And in your mind, it's so powerful. Whatever you have your attention towards, whatever you have your focus, whatever you give your focus towards, the more you do so towards something that rubs you the wrong way the harder it's for you it's, it's gonna make you feel like you're really stuck like in real life like you you can't move and at times for me whenever something wrong goes or something goes wrong if i can speak uh like it feels like i'm stuck like i can't be me no more like i'm i'm not the person i was before that but it's crazy because it's like, I dead ass feel like that. Like I literally in that moment until I like come back to the present and realize that whether it's something in my head or just me just having to just accept reality with something that just happened, right? Like at the end of the day, what I feel, like there's no way in reality that I, I'm just not me no more. Like, hello, I'm still breathing. I'm still here, but in my head, because of these thoughts or like because of how I feel because of these thoughts, that shit feels real as fuck. So like sometimes it almost convinces me into thinking that I'm not that person no more. I'm not me no more. But like the second screenshot said, especially, I have so many parts of me to meet still. There's still so many versions of me the best versions, which is like a great example into saying this too, it's, or a great analogy into saying this, which is like, I'm trying to be the best me that I can be, right? So automatically, today is a new day, right? I'm trying to be better than who I was yesterday. 
So that's me being a better version. There's still another part of me that I can reach, that I can meet. So it's just realizing things like that. And it's like, bro, I'm still me. I could just be a better me. Like, it's okay. If I had a moment of weakness, that's all right. But allowing my attention, you know, the longer I give it towards something that's negative, yeah. That shit really tries to convince you into thinking otherwise, right? So do not fall victim to those thoughts. Keep pushing forward. Believe in yourself. Because if not you, then if not you, who will? They don't want you to do that, though. They want you to choose that bed, boy. They, they want you to, you feel me? They want you to do whatever it is that's going to make you feel good temporarily. But don't do that, bro. Don't, don't play into their trick into their you know their hands of you just messing up that's what they want you to do do not do that though all right uh with that being said though push forward believe in yourself um keep your heads up and yeah bro take it day by day and realize bro you really can be like if you have one bad moment that next moment can be your best moment yet all right don't forget that all right, with that being said, that's pretty much it that I felt like sharing with you. Yeah, you keep your heads up, like I said. And uh, yeah, reality is what you do next, all right? So get out your head and push forward. And I know you will. All right, with that being said, it's your boy, CEO. I'm going to catch y'all tomorrow. I love y'all. Peace.